telomeres are elements at the ends of our chromosomes, and they're very important for the stability of our genetic information. Cells have a problem. They uh, have linear chromosomes. The chromosomes have ends. But at the same time, they have a machinery that looks for broken DNA because it needs to be fixed. And so this machinery shouldn't respond to the ends, the natural ends of chromosomes, so otherwise things go wrong. And that's the problem I've studied for 25 years. How do cells know the difference between a natural chromosome end and a broken piece of DNA? Never. Um, we have learned a lot. We have some basic principles in hand. But whenever you think you understand something in nature, you almost immediately realize that there is an additional question that needs to be answered. So um, I thought when I started working on this telomere problem, how do telomeres solve this end protection problem? I thought maybe five years. <laughs> and it's now 25 years, and I know very well that I'm, I will not see the end of this problem myself. Well, telomeres are just like the rest in the, of the genome. When there is radiation, telomeres uh, sustain damage, but the rest of the genome does too. And like the rest of the genome, telomeres can be repaired. So. Most of the time when there is radiation, we're pretty good at repairing it, whether it's somewhere in a gene or uh, somewhere in a telomere. So I don't think there is an expectation that telomeres provide a special limit of how long we could travel in space. It's more the rest of the genome, the whole genome, that will limit that.